Hello, my name is Michael Mark. Today I would like to share you about her story. Her name is Chan. She is 55 years old and she living with her son. He is 18 years old. The sadness of the true stories of the Cambodian women who walk with four legs. In the real life in Cambodia, so much sadness and sorrow for those people have the poverty life cannot breaking through. It seems like they live in the darkness with no exit. They are also poor, they not be able to afford even for the wheelchairs. Especially on the raining season, it flood all over the place. You can see the right field full of water. This is her life, how she lived in the hard situation and very poor, cannot afford anything. This is her house look like. You can see it's about 500 years back there. They still use the firewood for cooking or for any use. Not much thing like new modern technology like over here. This is her bed. She had to collect rainwater to use anything needs around her life. No cleaning, drinking water. This is her kitchen. She had to wash it by hand, but especially she had enough food to eat that is good enough for her life and her son. She lives in Takao province in Cambodia. This is the true stories in Cambodia. And this is in the real life. Her life so much suffers, it causing from her disability. Her husband left her since her son nine years old. That time, they had no money. She had to looking for a job work as the labor job, whatever the variables around, she had to work to raise her son. After her husband left her, she had no money to afford to send her son go to school. But no job available, she had to looking for something else. And then she had to climb the blackberry tree to pick the fruit and sell it to raise her kid and send her son go to school. But accidentally, she was falling from the tree. Her son was nine years old. He didn't know what to do, but 
the villager helped her to take her to the hospital. She had to stay in the hospital three months, so she could not afford to pay for the hospital. She had to sell everything that she owned to pay for the hospital bill. That time, this little boy is just nine years old, and he had to school too in the third grade. But he had no choice. He had to quit the school to go to hospital to take care of his mother. After she came back from the hospital, her life is harder than living with her poor son. Her son had to for go to work at the labor job, and he kept searching for any job available. But he was just a boy at that time. He was nine years old, but he couldn't find any job. He kept searching. Later on. He found one job that available in his village. He worked as a sail boy. What did he sell? He sell Cambodian noodle. He only be able to earn two thousand real to three thousand real. If four thousand real in American dollar is one dollar, and two thousand real is fifty cents. Top earning for this little boy, seventy-five cents a day, and he had to work hard to keep those job. You can see this story how hard is their life with mother and son. They had to live in nine years. It very difficult time. Because they could not earn anything, her son tried to open a little shop, but how can they start? They have no money. They just broke and poor, and even they don't have the food to eat for for three times a day. And after that, we heard from the villagers told us, so our team went there and they helped them to start a new life with her son. She is so excited to see us. Our team help her out one by one, but we making this video. A lot of people see it and they send some money to helping her. You can see how hard is her life with her son in Cambodia, because they have no any system to helping them medical Medicare for one case. Or any disability to apply, to helping them. They have to survive their own life somehow. It's so much sadness and breaking my heart. That why I just start to helping them and making some video. It probably can help them to start a better life. She depends on her son because her son is a young man. He is 18 years old right now. He probably he can get a better job or open a little shop and can make her life better. Right now, her son is 18 years old. We try to helping him to start his own business like a little shop, but the problem is. The basic education, you already heard about it. He quit the school from the third grade, and he cannot be able to read or write. It is so much interested about her life, so we started helping her, and then we making some video. I got the team at Cambodia. 
to travel across the country to search for those people who so much suffering from their lives and no job available and no any benefit to helping her, no 401k, no Medicare, no medical or no disabilities to helping them. Then their life very hard, but we got to do this because it nobody else be able to helping them. Only our team do some charity work from our heart to helping them. And right now they start to donate some money to helping her to solve all kinds of this problem in her current life, and people really feel sorry for her and with her son. And her son, his name is Snow. Now he is 18 years old, but he works at the labor job and he couldn't earn any money much, but the living, this is why by the villagers give them a food to eat. And they're living in the middle of some bears in the right field, but nobody living there only herself. You can see this around by the right field. I'm so sorry for her real story and in the real life. I never heard, I never see this, but it touched my heart and really broke my heart too. That's why it motivating me to do this charity job without pay anything. If you see this video, please share. If you want to help, share this video. And thank you for your watching and you will like you also your support. And stay tuned for the next video from our team at Cambodia. You guys have a nice day. We see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now.